What's going on over TJ here back again with another video and in this video, this is video one of Whiteboard Wisdom, hashtag Whiteboard Wisdom. Um, I'm going to be doing a lot more of these videos that hopefully you guys can find a lot more informative. It's less time intensive, intensive on my side where I'm not doing, I don't have to do a whole bunch of editing. But hopefully you guys are going to get a lot out of these videos because I'm going to really explain some of the concepts that are at play with strength and conditioning, physique building, diet, and all of that sort of stuff. This video is actually video one of my ignition program, Fuel Performance, Torch the Fat. And in this video, I explain the whole basis around what the program is about, why we need to consume real low calories, and why consuming lower calories will burn fat, as well as um, debunking the, the myth that uh, when you consume low calories, your metabolism goes down, um, explaining why you why when you do consume low calories, it becomes, uh, some people don't have success with those diets. So uh, if you are interested in the program, click the link below, and this is only available for the next upcoming weeks. If you click on it and it's, uh, if you're in the future, high future, still click the link below and there'll be a future sign up there where you can sign up for a, f uh, a future version of this program. But for now, we're going to talk about calories in versus calories out. Let's run the clip. I'm TJ here with the Ignition Program and this is video one, it explains to you the real basis of what this program is about and what fat loss in general is about and how this program is going to be effective for you. We're going to talk about calories, okay? So um, the basis of burning fat and losing fat in general is at the very core of it. Now there's lots of other things at play and we're going to explore them over the coming weeks. We're going to um, implement strategies that are far beyond the scope of just eating less calories. But the base of the program is about eating less and consuming less than you burn because then you're going to use your fat stores for your day-to-day -day life, for your training, for everything. And that using those fat stores means, guess what? You lose fat. So let's break it down. Let's talk about it and um, understand why some things happen when we diet. So um, basically food is your fuel, okay? That is what fuels your day-to-day -day activities, which we're gonna to touch on in a sec. And it comes in the form of carbs, protein, and fat. Um, with the program, you've got lists of each. Hopefully they will understand, you understand all of those, and that makes sense. If you have any questions about these, let me know. Um, but we now know food is fuel, that's what fuels the body in order to perform uh, everything. Everything in life is f fueled by food, okay? Um, and when we take in too many or too much fuel, we store it, and that ends up being fat. There's also muscle glycogen, liver glycogen, and other things at place, but we store it in our bodies, okay? So if we consume too much, we store it, okay? So from there, we use our stored fuel and our fuel that we come in, we are taking in as from food, and we use that for our day-to-day -day life. That's where you get your BMR, um, and even just sleeping, your body functions, things like breathing, things like moving, things like thinking, eating, all of your day-to-day -day stuff is gonna be covered by here. This is your BMR, uh, your basal metabolic rate, how many calories or how much fuel you need to keep you alive. We also have to train. And um, whether that's uh, rugby training, weight training, whatever you do on a day-to-day -day basis or a week-to-week -week basis, whatever activities you decide to do, that again is going to be fueled by the food and by your stored fat. Mostly that is going to come from the food, uh, depending on when you eat, and that's where we're going to get into the intricacies of your food timing, which will be coming up in a future video. That's not for this video, this video is just explaining what the basis is about. Um, and, and then I've listed here weights first, because if you want to hold on to as much muscle as you can, if you want to try and build muscle whilst losing fat, you must be doing weight training. That is priority number one. People talk about weight training versus cardio. Um, 
all given they probably burn a similar amount of calories, a, bit, a similar amount of stored fuel, but if you weight train, you've got more chance of holding onto muscle, which means you burn more calories during life, and obviously you look a little bit better because you're holding on to your muscle. Um, rugby training, if you're in rugby season, if you're a rugby player, that's important to you. That's also a must. We must be able to have enough fuel to perform these activities very well. Now, when we talk about people whose metabolism slows down, we talk about people who cut out a lot of calories and their diets don't work, this is where this comes in, okay? Oh, I've got a wrong color pen. But who really cares? This is um, the color of pen isn't important. What's important is we're talking about N E P A, non-exercise physical activity. So what happens when we diet super aggressively, or even when we diet in general, all of a sudden um, this when this goes down, that sends um, an image or a something to our brain where we will subconsciously start doing sitting rather than standing. And when we are standing, we tend to lean on things. Um, we don't walk as much. Your day-to-day -day activities will suffer um, in terms of, and, and you can get yourself as amped up and train as hard as you possibly can, but if you're burning uh, up to like 100 calories less every single hour because you're sitting, rather than standing up, you're leaning on things when you're standing up. All these things add up and they make you burn significantly less calories than you would have done if you're completely fueled up. Hopefully that makes sense. You get more lazier, okay? Um, which is not a good thing, which is why we are going to set non-exercise physical activity goals throughout this program. Um, but just bringing awareness to that fact is going to help you tenfold. I know that when I went on super low calories um, as a personal trainer when I had my clients I sat down throughout most of my sessions whereas before I'd be active I'd be demoing lots of exercises um, and when I went super low calories I stopped doing that. I started sitting down, I started leaning on things and just a simple act of this versus this burns a lot more calories when you're standing and you're not leaning on things so the more you can become aware of that the better we're going to be when we do get into low calories. But like I said again, we're going to build upon this in future videos. This is just explaining the basics. Okay? So there's one more thing we also, that also happens when uh, stored fuel goes down, when, we, when uh, fuel that we're getting in goes down. What happens is we send out a signal where we become a lot hungrier. We're like, the body says, hey, what's going on here? I'm having to burn fat as the fuel. Um, we need to be trying to take in more. So you get more hungry. You become less aware of the food that you eat. You can eat well, a lot more food subconsciously. Like every time you go into the fridge, you pick up a snack rather than um, just having your meals. Every time maybe even you even pass the kitchen, you're thinking maybe on your brain saying, hey, you're going past the kitchen, go grab a snack real quick because we're at currently taking in less fuel. We're currently having less stored fuel. We need to keep this body up because the body wants to remain the same. The body doesn't want to be a shredded guy. The body just wants to say exactly where we are because where we are right now is keeping us alive. So hopefully that explains the basics. That explains um, most of what we're talking about when terms of calories and that explains that the underlying principle of the ignition program is we're going to be eating less calories and consuming less calories to force us to use this stored fuel for uh, our non-exercise physical activity, our training, particularly our weight, but also our rugby, and our day-to-day -day life. Your metabolism won't slow down because you'll keep this up, um, and your hunger will be there, but with our hunger fighting strategies that we're using with the program, you'll be armed in the best way to make sure that it doesn't affect your life as much as possible. And that is how we're going to lose fat in this program. Uh, any questions about this, comment below. Let me know, and I look forward to seeing you in the group and in future videos.